Hello everyone and welcome to this mobility flow. My name is Helen and today we're going to start standing and we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to come to the back edge of our mat, bring the feet about hip width apart, take a nice big breath in and reach the hands high. As you exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands down and then walking the hands out into a high plank position. Good, breathe in. And then as you exhale, lift back and up into downward facing dog. Good, from here, bend the knees, walking the hands back, slowly bringing yourself all the way back up to standing. Good, we're gonna do two more like that. Breathing in, reach up. Exhale, fold, hands down, and walk it out to your high plank. Good, breathe in. Exhale, lift the seat back and up, downward facing dog. Wonderful, soften through the knees and then pad your hands back. Bring yourself all the way back up to standing. Nice, breathing in. Exhale, bring it down. Walk the hands out, high plank. Take a strong breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lovely, bending into the knees and then walking the hands back all the way up to standing. Wonderful, let's take a nice big breath in, reach the hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Walking the hands out to your high plank, but this time we're gonna drop the knees down and come to an all fours position. Wonderful, from here, let's pick up the right knee, keep the knee bent, and then we're gonna make some circles here. So begin to circle in one direction with as much control as you possibly can. So keep your core nice and strong, keep your shoulders nice and strong. So we're just finding a little bit of heat and mobility through that hip. Wonderful, and then circle the opposite way. Very good. Lovely. From here, let's extend that left leg all the way out, pushing through the heel, and then super, super slow, take it all the way out to the side, land it onto the floor next to you, toes pointing forwards. Great, let's take a little movement forwards and back here. So don't worry if you don't move as far as I am, maybe it's a little more subtle, that's totally fine. We're just working into that left hand groin area. Good, let's bring the shoulders over the wrists now and then reach your left hand high towards the sky. Good, bring this hand to the back of your head, breathe in. And then as you exhale, elbow to elbow bringing it across the body. Good, inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, elbow to elbow. One more, inhale. Exhale. Wonderful, bringing that hand down. And then you're gonna heel toe your left foot to the outside of your left hand, and then make some circles with your hips. So for a lot of these moves, absolutely do not worry about what they look like. Just kind of feel into the hips and your lower back. Just getting our joints nice and warm. Good, and then circling the opposite way. Maybe they start to get bigger. Very nice, good. And then we're gonna hold a little stretch here. So sinking the hips forwards, hands can be flat on the floor. Keep your breath flowing. So if you find your breath starts to get maybe a little bit labored, you've maybe gone a little bit too far. Good, and then stepping that knee back underneath the hip. Awesome, let's do the opposite side. So raising up the opposite foot. Begin to make some circles here. So see if you can isolate that movement so it just happens through the hip. It's quite challenging. 
Good, and circle the opposite way. How big and controlled can you get those circles? Good, and then extending that leg all the way out. Take it all the way out to the side with control. Toes land on the floor, pointing forwards, and then begin to shift the weight forwards and back, forwards and back. Just noticing any little differences between your left and your right hand side. Good, and then shoulders over the wrist. Let's reach the right hand high, see if we can expand across the chest. Hand to the back of the head, breathe in. And then as you exhale, see if you can get your elbow to come across the body to touch your other elbow. Good, inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it in. One more, inhale, rotate, lift the chest. Exhale. Good, and then bringing that right hand down. Perfect, let's heel toe the right foot to the outside of your right hand now, and then begin to make some circles with your hips here. So yeah, don't worry if they're not very big, that's totally fine. Just move into what feels appropriate for you today. Switch in the direction. So this is really nice for loosening up through that lower back. Opening up those hips if you're feeling a little bit tight in those spaces. Good, and then let's find a little stretch here. So toes are pointing, the right toes are pointing forwards, sinking the hips forwards and down. Just check in with the jaw, notice if you're not, you're not clenching your teeth or scrunching up your fists. Lovely, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, Step that knee back underneath the right hip. Good, spread those fingers nice and wide, tucking the toes, let's find a downward facing dog. Good, from here, bend into the knees and then you're gonna walk your feet towards your hands, come into the top edge of your mat, soften through your knees and then slowly, slowly rolling up through the spine, coming to standing. Great, let's take a nice wide stance on our mat now. So when you bring your arms out, you roughly want your wrists over your ankles. That's always quite a nice measurement. Have the toes pointing out and then bend into the knees coming into a deep squat. So hands can be at your heart, they can be on your hips, or if you want a little bit more spice, <laughs> you can bring the arms into a cactus shape. Relax the shoulders and see if you can slightly tuck the tailbone under so you feel that opening through the inner thigh. Lovely, let's take a breath in. And then as you exhale, we're all gonna bring our hands onto our knees and rest the weight of our upper body into our hands. Good, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, drop one shoulder to the center and look behind you. So you're ringing out through that spine. Good, inhale through center, and then over to the opposite side. Keep the breath flowing. Lovely deep breath in, long breath out. Good, inhale through center, straighten up the legs, and then turn your toes in and your heels out. So it's that slight pigeon toe, hands to the hips. Breathe in, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Bend your knees if you need to, that's totally fine. And then just take a little sway. So maybe it's a side to side, maybe it's a little kind of up and down. Just allow your spine to really decompress here. Lovely, from here, inhale. Let's come up halfway onto our fingertips. Bend into the knees and then you're gonna heel toe your feet in, toes pointing out and then sit down into a deep squat. Hands can stay on the floor if you wish, or hands together at heart center, absolutely your choice. 
Nice, proud chest. Lovely. From here, let's bring the hands behind, sitting the bum down. Take your feet about a bit wider than hip width, toes pointing forwards. Nice, proud chest. Lovely. Breathe in. Exhale, swipe the knees to one side. Inhale. And to the opposite side. Good, let's do one more each side and then we're gonna add on to this. Lovely, this time come up through center and the key with this one is to not use your hands. So you can have your hands at your heart, some people like them behind the head or out in front, I'll let you decide. We're gonna drop the knees to one side and then without using our hands, we're gonna come up onto our knees, onto those shins. Now the key is to do it really slowly. <laughs> so we're gonna slowly, slowly sit back down, knees come back through center and then over to the opposite side. So dropping the shins down, coming up onto the knees, squeeze the glutes at the top, you get a little stretch here and then slowly bring it on down. Lovely. Let's do one more each side. Don't worry if you're struggling with it, it's all good if you need to use your hands. Just do what you can and move nice and slow. Good, last side, come on up, squeeze the glutes at the top and then slowly come on down. Lovely, bringing the knees back through center, perfect. Let's bring our hands behind. Let's have the fingers pointing back squeezing the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. If you'd like to intensify this little shoulder stretch, you can walk your sitting bones a little bit further away from your hands. Nice opening through the chest, breathing here. Maybe there's a little softness through the elbows. Lovely, nice big breath in. Let it go. Good, and then walk in the bum back. Let's find a comfortable seat. So sitting nice and tall, relaxing the hands onto the knees or the thighs. Close off your eyes. And just take a moment to watch your breath here. Feeling the breath travel around the spaces in the body that you've maybe woken up. Maybe the joints are feeling a little more awake and energetic, nourished. Let's take a deep breath in, sit tall. And take a nice big sigh. Wonderful, hands together at heart center. Bowing the head down towards yourself. Really thank yourself for carving out the time today to look after your body and mind. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this practice and I really hope you enjoyed it.